And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, once again, three rounds this scheduled in the middleweight division. Introducing to you first, finding out of the blue corner, is a mixed martial artist standing six feet, three inches tall. Weighing it officially 184 and three quarter pounds, his professional record stands at four victories and two defeats. Finding out of Boston, Lincolnshire, England, here is the farmer boy, Matt Halla! And next is the opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Also a mixed martial artist, he stands six feet even. Weighing in officially 183 and one half pounds, this seven fight veteran has a professional record of six victories with one defeat. Fighting out of and representing Liverpool, England, here is Steve Tinsdale! <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Steve Dinsdale Ready. in the black Ready. shorts. Go. Matt Hallam in the white with black trim. No touch of gloves. Big reach advantage for Matt Hallam. Hallam's upper body is absolutely huge. I'm not sure where the nickname Farmer Boy comes from. Looks like he's been out toiling in the fields with those arms, lifting some hay bales. Showing some feints early. Just throwing the hip there to get Dinsdale thinking. Both these guys taking their time. Ooh. Axe kick there. Ah. Shades of the great Andy Hoog. Faking with the oblique kick there. Dinsdale with a Superman punch. Yeah, Dinsdale just trying to find his way in. Both guys just not quite able to get their range going yet. Doesn't want to rush in. Dinsdale was caught there coming in though, Josh. Yeah, they're going to tie up here against the cage. Hallam with a couple of good knees. Staying very calm indeed. A back fist landed, a spinning back fist, not so much there for Steve Dinsdale. Hallam continuing to attack with the kick, switching his stance up here as well, Josh. Yeah, just trying to give him a bit more to think about. Change of level from Dinsdale, but it was a long way on the outside. There were questions asked of Steve Dinsdale's cardio. Last time we were here in Liverpool, he did gas heavily towards the end of that fight, but at an absolutely relentless pace. But you've got to think, with a guy as big as Matt Hallam, with all those muscles, is yeah, he going to get mean, tired the more this fight goes on? You know, we've never seen him go out, or no one's ever seen him go out of the second round. So, you know, maybe if Steve Dinsdale can push this one deep, we'll find out. But at the moment, we're seeing a lot of speed and a lot of agility. Brazilian kick. Spinning back fist from Dinsdale. Flashy stuff on show here. At Cage Warrior 68, Brad Wharton and Josh Palmer privileged to call this great night of action for you. Exciting stuff so far, so much more still to come. I really like the variety that Matt Hallam is throwing at the moment. Dinsdale, I think, just taking a bit longer than he would have liked to figure out this puzzle, and what a puzzle it is at the moment. He sees a great flinch, I mean... Dinsdale pressing the action. Hallam happy to oblige him here. Faking the spin, a little slip there. Hallam looking to capitalize. Pretty flicking those kicks up with ease. Yeah, I mean, he, it's, he's really making it so hard for Dinsdale to get inside. He does, and he gets shaken off. I think we're clearly seeing if Matt Hallams can just keep Dinsdale at range here. Sooner or later, one of these big kicks or strikes might find their way through the guard. Well, the corner of Matt Hallam saying exactly that, Josh. Telling their fighter to keep the man at range, keep him on the outside. He's pretty much landing at will. Doesn't want to let Dinsdale get in the pocket and make this a brawl. Doesn't want to let him close enough to shoot for the takedown. No, either one of these guys can change it at a moment's notice. Dinsdale trying to push forward a bit more now. Hallam's going to have to get on his bike, not get caught in the corner. He's trying to circle, but Dinsdale is tracking him the whole way. Using the cage well is Steve Dinsdale, really cutting off his opponent's angles. 
Nice double jab from Dinsdale. Yeah, Dinsdale found his way in with a couple of good strikes there. Immediately, though, re-establishing the range. A knee on the break. He's having a hard time connecting to the body of Matt Hallam here. Dinsdale diligently working to get inside on Hallam, but every time he does it, Hallam has been able to get himself out of danger very quickly, and that must be disheartening, Josh. Yeah, I, I mean, he's shaking off a lower body takedown attempt. He's shaking off the upper body clinch attempts. So at the moment, Steve Dinsdale is having a really hard time in this one. He's connected to the hips now, though. Looking to join the hands is Dinsdale. Is he, is he going to be able to move Hallam's centre of gravity, get him off balance and take him down. Nice low, wide base from Hallam, but he's taken down. Yeah, Hallam tried to stretch his base very wide there, but good work from Dinsdale to get this top position. Just 10 seconds left in the round, though. He fought for that takedown for the best part of four and a half minutes, Josh, and Sadly, just I, ran out of time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to sway that round for him. I think Stop. Matt Hallam is really... Done a lot of good work with those kicks. Really had Steve Dinsdale guessing throughout most of that first round. Well, let's take a look back at some of that action, Josh. Beautiful question mark kick there. Absolutely phenomenal technique from Matt Hallam. A spinning back fist did actually land there from Dinsdale. And here we see the man from the next gen. Wrestling for that takedown, doesn't get it there, shuts off by Hallam. If you meet those underhooks of that upper body of Matt Hallam, just imagine the strength and power in trying to lever you back up. Dinsdale found his way in eventually, but he ate a lot of these kicks, a lot of these shots. Great accuracy there from Hallam. I'm so impressed with his agility as well. You know, it's very rare you see guys his size, you assume they might be a little bit more lumbering, and that is certainly not the case. Dinsdale. For the farmer boy, Matt Hallam. Dinsdale off his stool, trying to walk to the centre of the cage before the break was over. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to let anyone think that he's on the downslide here, but that was a good first round for Matt Hallam. Dinsdale always comes out looking aggressive. Hallam, by contrast, a stoic looking individual, all business. Dinsdale again stalking his man around the cage. Hallam happy to lead his man on, flick out those kicks. I don't think we'll see too much of a change of game plan from Matt Hallam. Everything going his way in the first round, really. But Steve Dinsdale does know he can take this fight down now. So I'm sure that'll give him some confidence to come forward. Again, the axe kick. It's a low percentage technique, the axe kick, but when it lands, it is deadly. I mean, that heel landing vertically, the amount of force and just sheer bone. Horrible technique to be caught under. We saw the legendary kickboxer Andy Hoog score some fantastic knockouts. Peter Ertz, also a fan of the axe kick. The likes of Sam Greco also using that kick. It's a great effect in kickboxing matches. You don't see it so much in MMA because if it lands on the shoulder, very easy to get a takedown. Matt Hallam, though, certainly not afraid to throw it out here against Steve Dinsdale. Yeah, that's the first time we've seen Hallam surge forward with just the punches. Been using the kicks consistently to keep Dinsdale guessing, keep him at range. Spinning back fist, followed by the foot shot there from Din Dinsdale. <laughs> Dinsdale trying to land with the left. Hallam catches him coming in. Yeah, very evasive. The corner of Dinsdale are waving him forward. He is a straightforward kind of guy, is Dinsdale. Yeah, he's trying to press the action, but it's just so hard to get inside that range of Matt Hallam. And then you've got to be careful of wild techniques like that. Incredible amount of force. Lovely lateral, kick like that. Yeah, lovely lateral movement from Hallam. Doing everything right is Matt Hallam. Don't want to back away in a straight line, especially against an aggressive come forward kind of fighter like Dinsdale. Yeah, just waiting for him to surge forward and close the distance rapidly. Hallam's corner, praising his movement. Saying that man that 
He's making Dinsdale miss, and he is. Question mark kick again. Triples the jab. Again with the question mark kick, the crescent kick on the inside. And that's allowed Dinsdale to connect. But there's going to be a very strong right underhook there for Matt Hallam. Sometimes you want a fighter against throwing the same technique over and over. But with the question mark kick, it's such a versatile strike. You can throw it to look like a low kick. You can throw it to the body. You can go to the head. It really does keep the man guessing. And Matt Hallam landing at will here, Josh. Again, he's switching his stance. So many kicks coming off the lead leg. Allows him to get such a reach on them. And now starting to pick up the tempo. Good underhook there. It's going to shake off this takedown pretty easily, I would think, with that. Oh, framing knees. Nice knee from Hallam. Dinsdale doggedly chasing this takedown, though he's not going to get it here. Yeah, and this is going to get tiring for him, having takedown stuffed over and over again. And being sprawled on is incredibly tiring. And Josh, just as I was saying, he threw the question mark kick, went to the body with it, then went upstairs to the head. New record for question mark kicks in one, uh, one fight, I think. <laughs> Nice shot to the body there. Oh, and that's a big he's in. Huge punch and he's out. Rich Mitchell's seen enough. This one is all over. Matt Hallam with the victory dance. Phenomenal stoppage here at Cage Warrior 68 for the Farmer Boy. Well, Matt Hallam has never seen the third round. We thought for a few seconds he might. He stayed pretty dormant for most of that third round. But when he landed, boy, did he unload on Steve Dinsdale. Let's take a quick look back. And some of the action here, spinning back kick to the body from Dinsdale. Axe kick just wide of the mark there from Hallam. Again landing with the heel with Dinsdale. One of many question mark kicks, triple jab from Matt Hallam. Again just landing the, with that the kick. The versatility in those strikes. And that knee landed so right behind the ear that time. So hard to deal with. You never quite know what your opponent's going to throw. Here was the end of the fight. Big right hand on the money. And the accuracy there was fantastic. Well, the momentum caught him moving. And that follow-up shot, great killer instinct from Hallam there. And a phenomenal performance from the Farmer Boy. And here's Joe Martinez with the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially at the time. Four minutes, three seconds round. Number two, referee Rich Mitchell steps in to stop this contest for your winner by TKO victory, the farmer boy, Matt Hala! Huge win.